We are backstage at 21 Row with the band Sublime with Rome. And uh, hey, guys, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah. So you guys just have a, a song just out, right? Spiderweb. Tell uh, me a little bit about it. Comes out tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At uh, midnight. Yeah. New Music Friday, baby. Yeah. That's the second uh, release off our album that's coming out in June. Yeah, so uh, let's talk a little bit about um, the reinvention of the, of the band now known as Sublime with Rome. You know, how did that collaboration all come about? Well, it's kind of a mystical thing. Um, and there's a lot of different stories that transpire. Um, which version do you want to hear? <laughs> I guess the truth is always the best. All right, he can <laughs> tell the truth. I'll tell you some <laughs> beep, uh, beep. Um, I mean, pretty much this is through jamming. Um, we, we had a mutual friend who owned a recording studio and he introduced me to Eric and then like he, you know, always throws the best parties. So <laughs> he always has like instruments set up and then, uh, yeah, like we jammed Sublime one time in his living room and then after that it was just kind of like he kept on hitting me up, wanting to come over and jam. Yeah. The rest is history, right? Yeah. Have you noticed this resurgence in a lot of 90s bands hitting the road again? I mean, it's been great. A yeah, lot of yeah. great music coming out and a lot of new music coming out from it's these crazy. bands. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's important. I think that it should always be like that. Yeah. And it always has been. Yeah. People, like, I think maybe now that um, people are just now starting to focus on that. But a lot of these bands have just been out for a long time. Just because this is how, you know, they pay their bills, you know? What is one of the most popular songs that you guys get requested to play when you're out? Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sure. by far, that's the one? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Is it the one that you um, like playing the most? I, enjoy, oh, I, I, play I like it a lot because um, that, that means it's the, we have, we're done for the night. <laughs> 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 Not that I don't want, don't want to play it, but, you know, we're getting kind of tired by that time. Yeah. I would imagine. I get it. That probably is something like that you enjoy. Solo. Yeah. Keeps me on my, keeps me on my toes. What is it about that guitar? Could, is it challenging? Um, yeah. Well, it took me like a year to learn it, and I don't even think I know it like a hundred percent. I don't know. <laughs> Brad is a phenomenal guitar player. He's got great feel. So that's that's always been the hardest part. Period. Is just getting even close to the same feel he had on anything. Yeah. When you guys um, pull into towns, you know, like Grand Rapids, do you get a chance to go out and explore anything? Barely. As soon as we get done with this interview, I'm going to go out and explore. <laughs> yeah? What are you going to see? Hopefully a vape shop. <laughs> <laughs> we have quite a, a few of those around. We're also Beer City USA, and we have some really cool distilleries, too, Is as well. legal here? Marijuana is legal in Michigan, so there then you go. I'm going to go find a store. Oh, boy. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thanks for letting us share a little bit of your time today, guys. I know you've been traveling, and I know you got stuff to do. So uh, thanks. Great to meet you. And, of course, if you want to find out more about Sublime with Rome, all you have to do is go to our website, 13onyourside.com.